the highest paying business career tier list. Today, we're gonna to be talking about different business related jobs that you might go into if you were a business major in college. And some of these are going to be jobs that you can get into without getting a college degree. So I'm gonna be breaking that down, whether you need a college degree, whether you don't need a college degree. I'm also gonna be talking about really important things like how much you make, the flexibility, et cetera, et cetera. And if you appreciate videos like this, go ahead, tap that like button. Let's see if we can get a thousand likes on this video. I'm also gonna keep this one short and sweet. I make tons of other videos where I go in depth on this stuff. So if you wanna know more, just subscribe to the channel and you'll see those. And let's jump into it right now with the first one on the list, which is gonna be the highest paying one, and that is founder or CEO. Now this one is a high risk, high reward type of career, starting your own business or going into a business that is already successful and becoming the CEO. Definitely Definitely not for everybody, but you can make a ridiculous amount of money, of course, as a CEO. Uh, last year, Elon Musk's net worth went up by $100 billion in a single year, right? So the sky is pretty much the limit when it comes to how much you can make as a founder or a CEO. But just know that something like with small businesses, I think 70% of businesses fail within the first 10 years. And with like more startup type businesses that are kind of like shooting for the moon, it's more like 90 to 99% of them are gonna fail. Now, typically the advice I give on this is go ahead, get some work experience first, build some skills, figure out what you wanna do with your life, and then try to start your business. But yeah, this one goes into S tier for sure. Really good one. Accounting is next on the list. Now remember, I'm talking about the highest paying, right? So I'm putting more of an emphasis on high paying careers. Now, if you get an accounting degree, you can go the accounting path or you can go the finance path and typically finance is gonna have the higher paying careers. But there is still some pretty good ones if you go the accounting route as well. But overall, if you're just considering how much you make, accounting is gonna go into B tier. Next one on the list is going to be finance. And this leads to some of the most lucrative career paths you can go into in the entire world. If you go down the private equity, venture capital, hedge fund, investment banking route, you can literally make millions of dollars a year in your first like five to 10 years of your career. But I will say that this is for A-type personalities, people who don't mind working at least 60 hours a week, right? Like that would be the minimum. And in a lot of cases, you're gonna be working 80, 100, maybe even 120 hours a week if you go into something like investment banking. So so yeah, finance definitely goes into S tier. This one is incredibly high paying. Next one on the list is going to be sales. And this is one that I absolutely love because you can get into sales without a college degree and without any experience. So I just recently interviewed Abdul, for instance, I'll put that one up here in the corner, and he got into tech sales with no college degree, no experience, and within his first year, he was making over $70,000 a year. So I will say that if you go into sales, you want to be selling high ticket products, and typically business to business is a good way to go, especially if you're in an industry like technology. And sales as a skill set in general is just one of the most valuable skill sets you could possibly learn. It's the most common type of job that millionaires and billionaires have in common in their past. Now, tech sales is also referred to as sales development representative or business development representative. And if you type in business development at the entry level on LinkedIn, you see there are 409,000 results. Companies badly need people to get into tech sales. And that's why my friend Troy at Course Careers actually made it incredibly easy by creating a company where he trains people and then he gets you interviews with companies that he partners with. And that's why he's able to get people jobs in sometimes one to two months starting off in tech sales. Now, if you wanna learn more about tech sales, Troy does have a free training. I'll put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment. And if you want to use his service where he trains you and he gets you interviews, which just speeds up the process quite a bit, I do have a $50 off coupon and I think the code is Shane50 and I'll put that down there as well. So yeah, this one I'm gonna put in S tier as well. Next one on the list is going to be consulting. And this is a career path a lot of people go down. They work at one of the big four consulting firms. Now, this is another one that's pretty competitive Competitive, you're gonna be working pretty long hours because you're gonna be consulting with large businesses on your area of expertise. But with that being said, this one can be really good. It can also lead to much higher positions. You can specialize in something and then get hired by companies and get paid really good money. So consulting is gonna go into S tier. Next one on the list is going to be entrepreneurship and small business. So before I talked about kind of a CEO or a founder, I was more talking about the startup role. But honestly, starting small businesses is a really good option as well. You have a much higher chance of success if you start a small business. And a lot of people start a smaller business that's sort of a cash flow business that they can rely on. And then they start their fancy, you know, startup type business later on down the line using the funds from their first business. So yeah, this one I'm gonna put in S tier as well. 
Human resources is the next one on the list. So this is one where I don't like the degree very much because you can actually get into human resources with a bunch of different degrees. You do not need a human resource management degree. But with that being said, the career itself is pretty decent. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into C tier. Next one on the list is going to be the broad category of marketing. So marketing can be pretty good, uh, very important skill set to learn. Um, overall, I'm gonna put this one in A tier. Next, we're gonna talk about the specific category of digital marketing. Now, all of the other types of marketing are A tier, but digital marketing specifically, in my opinion, is the most valuable type of marketing that you can learn. So digital marketing comprises uh, social media ads, so think, you know, ads on Facebook or Twitter, et cetera. Also Google pay-per-click ads, so those are the ones that show up on websites or on Google when you search something. And then search engine optimization, which makes websites rank organically when you search Google. So yeah, digital marketing, super, super, valuable and the best thing about this is you do not need a college degree to get into digital marketing so because of that you don't need a college degree you don't need any experience you can get really good paying jobs there's a ton of demand this one is going to go into s tier Next one on the list is going to be real estate. Now, I definitely do not recommend getting a real estate degree. No, God, please, no, no! However, real estate can be a good one to go into. It is relatively entrepreneurial. So there's certain types of personalities that do really well in real estate. So it is a little bit of a high risk, high reward type of career, but overall it has pretty high job satisfaction. If you are successful in real estate, you can make good money. And if you don't wanna go full-time in real estate, some people will just get their license and do it part-time on the side. And then whenever their friends or family want to buy a house, uh, they'll use that person as their real estate agent. So this one is gonna go into B tier. Next one on the list is going to be working in retail. So this is basically something that you do see somewhat commonly. Um, I do have a good friend who started off working in retail, uh, rose up the ranks there, got into a management position, and then transferred over to another company, got an, an even better management position, and then transferred into a Fortune 50 company, and he basically got an associate's degree in business. But with that being said, it's not the cleanest or easiest route to go. There's a cap to how much you can make. It is difficult to transfer for over into other positions. You have to deal with Karens all day. Nobody really wants to work at a retail store, so people are constantly calling out. And if you work in retail, you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, this one goes into F tier. Next one on the list is going to be an executive. So not necessarily the CEO, but somebody who's high ranking within a company like a vice president. So very difficult position to get into, it takes years and years in order to get into this. But with that being said, executive can be a phenomenal career. And when it comes to high paying careers, which is what this video is about, it's obviously gonna go into S tier. Next one on the list is going to be management. So this is somebody who's kind of like mid-level within a company. Now managers absolutely can make really good money. This one is gonna go into A tier. Next one on the list is international business. This is a dark horse candidate. I could see this one doing phenomenally well in the future, but right now, just from the numbers that I looked up, uh, not as good as you would think, but still not bad at the same time. This one goes into B tier. Next one on the list is going to be logistics. Uh, super, super important one. This one goes into A tier. Next is gonna be project management. This is where you basically are the lead of a project. Not an entry level role, does take a few years to get into it, but a really cool career. Uh, teaches you a lot of what you need to know to move up into higher positions within a company or start your own business. So project management goes into B tier. Public relations is the next one on the list. Uh, not as much opportunity in this one, but it's not bad at the same time. This one goes into C tier. Sports management is next. Super, super competitive, very difficult to have success in sports management. But if you are able to have success, you can make a ridiculous amount of money. But overall, not sure if this one's worth it. This one is gonna go into D tier. Sustainability is next on the list, and I see this one being another dark horse candidate in the future. A lot of countries are moving towards incentivizing businesses to be more eco-friendly, and companies are trying to figure out how to maximize their profits, but at the same time, be friendly to the environment. So sustainability goes into B tier. Next one on the list is business teacher. So maybe you would get like an education degree in business, something like that, teach in a high school. And with this one, like, I'm sorry, but you, you cannot teach business unless you've done it yourself. It's just one of those things where it's like riding a bicycle. You cannot learn how to do it unless you've done it yourself. You The only way to learn how to ride a bike is to jump on a bike and try it. So this one goes into D tier. 
And then data entry, this is a very, very low level business job that you might go into as your very first job ever. There's just not that many upsides to this job. It, the low pay, very boring. You're not really learning any challenging skills. It is just mind numbing work in my opinion. This one goes into F tier. Now, if you're interested in looking into the business route, check out this interview that I did with Abdul. I'll put it like right here, I think. And like I said before, he was able to make $70,000 a year in his first year working in tech sales. And I'll see you over there.